Welcome back, Your Honor. It is now Thursday. Well, sunny and in harmony, I think, for the Librans. First of all, it's your birthday period. It's almost over, just a few days left, but today, Neptune ruling the day. And when you're an air sign and Neptune's ruling you, well, that's really a connection to the other side. You have a real strong connection to the Soul Collective today. Everybody does. But I think it's that uh, Libra openness. Librans are very open. They're very subtle with their energy. They can come across very delicately, almost feminine sometimes, even in the male characters. That's Venus sensitivity that's coming through. But when you add uh, Neptune on top of that, which is a Pisces vibration, then that sensitivity basically gets amplified. It's like you can listen into space, so to speak. So today's a very good day for you. And with the sun in your own sign, you'll find that you're really got a super ear, bionic one at that. Now the moon is in Capricorn, so while this is going on, you're really anchored down by your home and family, not anchored in a bad way, anchored in the sense of being nurtured. This is the third day, really almost the third day, of nesting and resting emotionally. So take advantage of that and really recharge and listen to hear what you hear out there. Then lastly, Saturn in Virgo. I want to talk about that for a couple of minutes. This is a deep, deep transit for you, literally. You've got Saturn in the house of higher self, the house of karma. So listening to the cosmos, so to speak, is a big part of this lesson. It's not just ironic, I plan it that way. And with Saturn in the 12th, at this stage, it's you kind of releasing layers or getting through onion layers that gets to more of the core understanding of why you can't just jump in your faith in yourself or jump into your faith in the universe. You'll be asking those questions. A lot of the answers will probably deal with childhood and your early programming. But what's interesting, and what I want to point out is, Saturn is directly opposite Uranus in Pisces in the sixth house. So what that means for Librans is this. There'll be a cause and effect or a tug of war relationship between these two sides of your life. And as you work through kind of the, uh, all the inner onion layers of your higher, get it connecting to your higher self and clearing out childhood issues, you're going to find that that wisdom immediately comes down into your daily life and your daily life shifts just a little bit. So you're going to have this tug of war between better faith and daily life changing. All right, that's all we have for you today, Libra. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Until then, live, love, be. So